Tanya's got her winter coat on now, so she's got a winter coat, unsuitable shoes, mind you, but there we go. And our Madame Sin here is Madame Sin. <laughs> Sin is in her Changsan for Lunar New Year. There they are together. In order to avoid a climate catastrophe, <laughs> which countries should reach? Ah, uh, right, there's our uh, Nadia in her new outfit. It was uh, Tania's, but Tania's given it to her because it looks nicer on Nadia. And we let, let Tania have us say that. Well, you look at my girls here, don't they look good? On the macros, setting. And there's our June. Very good, very nice. A nice warm jumper on. And uh, here's our Lexi with her new look. For now, that looks nice. Oh, my girl, looking good. Yeah. That's very nice. And here's our Nadia. So, yeah. This top belongs to Tania, but I, don't, I think it looks better on Nadia here. So that's a nice look for her. So here's Marcia in her new outfit for now. It doesn't um, suit Jewel for some reason, it doesn't go with it. It seems to uh, look good on her because she's got yellow shoes, our Marcia. I did want it for, uh, where is she, Marlise, but it didn't suit, her. didn't suit her. I can't see her at the moment. Didn't suit Marlise. Uh, oh, there she is. So she's got that white furry coat. Yeah, it didn't look good on her. I thought, well, she's got fluorescent earrings, pink. I thought that would look good, but it didn't suit her at all but yeah she's got yellow shoes so that's okay that's good <sighs> nice to get the dollies sorted out with something got this nice fashion pack uh, I like this dress and um, there's the hanger look you get on top and um, it's got a bag and it's got high heeled shoes so that's good but I'd, it might not fit the curvy if it's got the high-heeled shoes because they're... Well, I don't know, we'll have to see where we'll try. Well, the shoes actually go on Sonia, who's a tall, and they're, when they've got high heels, the tall dolls, their feet are the same size as the curvies when the, it's a curvy with high heels. But you can see it is slightly too big because you can see how the heel sort of leans back where her feet are bigger. And they've got their, their feet aren't so high heeled as the regular dolls anyway. And I'm not going to take Morgana shoes off at the moment because hers are on with elastic. But so it fits the the bigger dolls and the regular. But I'm, I think it fit the regular better. These silver shoes. I'm just glad to have some more high heels. You'll see they fit Sandy here better. So um, one of these regular dolls can have these. So yeah, I thought that would suit Morgana. She's the obvious choice for it. It fits her quite well. I don't know if it'll fit a curvy. We'll try in a moment on one. And um, so, 
I think she can have this. She doesn't need the bag because she's already got a bag the same as that one, black bow. So, yeah, actually I think it's a little bit big, but we'd have to, um, it's pretty. It's a shame the pattern doesn't extend around the back. It's one of those, but at least uh, she can have it if, um, it doesn't suit as much as I thought it would. So there she is. That looks quite good. I'm going to try it on a curvy just to satisfy my curiosity. I tell you what, I wish Mattel would stop putting those nasty little plastic tags through things. This camera won't, this camcorder won't focus too closely. It's on the macro setting, but it won't. And my Olympus camera that, that will is the memory card's full up, and I can't take it all out of its box and delete things now just to film this. But it's got a hole in that, and it notices, and it's got another one down the bottom here somewhere. You can just about see it there. And when it was on her, I thought, you could see it, it's like a hole. Oh, it, and it shows up, that's really annoying. I don't know if you can see it from the back. They shouldn't put it through when it's something like this, these sort of things. Look, you can see that, that's a hole. And the same down the bottom, at, at the hem end, as a, as a hole, it's really annoying. Well, actually, surprisingly enough, it fits Tania here, and I, because she's a curvy, and I think it actually looks nicer on her. So maybe she can have this. Look at um, see, fits her quite well at the back. Does that well? It's elasticated, but you can see that hole there. And I was very, very careful when I took it out. I didn't pull it. I just cut the end off of the um plastic tag, making sure not to pull. And um. So, yeah, that's so annoying. That's a little mark there. I wonder what I can do with that. Maybe a bit of mm, blue glitter nail polish or something. I don't know. Because I'm, that is noticeable to me. It's annoying. Well, that looks good on Tarnia, though. So, yeah, that shows so she hasn't got anything like this. Shame she's got flat feet, though, because she really needs heels with this. OK, well, let me show you what I've done. I wouldn't say to everyone just go ahead and do this, but I thought well, I've got blue glitter nail polish, which is the sort of yeah, there's more or less not showing it, but it is the same colour. It's a Technic one, if you're interested, Technic. And I put a spot on the packaging, and then with my these pliers, th pliers here, these needle nose pliers, I just dipped in a bit and put in in that hole in the top one and the bottom one and um, it has blended in and I'm hoping it's going to, I did test it on a bit behind the bow to see if it would make anything come off because um, you know acet acetone, acetate, but it hasn't and oops, I'm hoping that's dry by now. So um, yeah, I'm hoping that's done the trick. I don't see how it can, really, because it's actual holes in it where those nasty little tags have been through it and it's made a hole. And like I said, I was very careful about removing them. I didn't pull on it or anything, so... Yeah, Miss Mattel should be more careful with um, the packaging. So I'm glad I had this nail polish. Same colour. See? Same colour looks a bit darker but it, it it actually isn't it's a it's a good match and it is like iridescent sort of holographic so that's good it's a nice day I've got one of these small old hot pies to wait for those lovely I hope there's a nice lot of jelly let's see shall we Hmm, I think there's some in there somewhere. Very nice day. Another one of these, the almond. No, I know you always like to see what's in my waitress cool bag. Honey and ginger, I fear. I fear coconut. I fear black currant, reduced. And like <clears throat> cave aged goat's cheese. I wish they still did the used cheese. I did mention all this before. So annoying when you can no longer get the things you want. 
got two Niagaragas and two Whispers. And the white ones. Another one of these, these jolly clothes and things. Things I don't usually buy, I got as well. I need to file them now, so I've got some memory boards. There we go, emery boards and retros. I need to file them now. Somewhere here. And my friend asked me to get a vegetable knife because he had a one that was broken, so I got this. So it's meant for 750. I had to go and get someone to get it off because it was um you needed a magnet. She said these are really good. They're um, as good as a much more expensive brand, which I can't remember what she said they were called. But so yeah, brass riveted herring knife and weight case, precision ground Sheffield steel. Ah, look at that sky. Isn't that lovely. What I've got, I've got, I've um. You know, I got the Lunar New Year Barbie recently, but I thought I'd... There's the dragon. I decided to get... There's another one, you can a carnival one, but I decided to get... I decided to get this one as well. Because she's lovely. There you get this card that comes in the Certificate of Authenticity. And here's the box. Here's the box. Festivals of the World Chinese New Year. Ooh. That's the stand. Just a plain black stand. Here's the box. I hope people can like see these things. I shall oops, I shall be taking her out of the box at some time, but I shall leave her in there for now. She's holding the traditional gift of money, I do believe. She's got some nice gold bangles on. Oh, her nails aren't painted. I'm surprised at that, seeing as if she's a collector Barbie. She's very pretty. I like the uh, chopsticks hanging from her hair and the hair decorations and her earrings. A lot of detail. I think this one was, what, is it 2005? Very nice. Very, very pretty. So there we go. Not a Lunar New Year Barbie. She can go with Ling. That's so nice. So pretty. Oh, she's got a phoenix pattern here on her Chong Sam. So that's, oh, that's lovely. And then you see the phoenix is in the back of the box as well. So what a pretty dolly. Very nice. No wonky eyes like with my one, and no pixelating, pixelation either. They're definitely better quality then. Oh, I was going to have another biscuit. Oh, we need the light on. We do. Okay. So we in a bit better now. No, it's still all washed out, isn't it? I will want to just show you my new dolly that I've got. So for, oh, I'm going to take. This is too dark. Hang on. Right. Are we? Yeah, I am. Oh, that look at the back of the box. Oh, we're still blanking it out, aren't we? I'm trying my best to show. I'll take this off because you get the reflections. Oh, don't want to be too long because I'm. <laughs> I want to get my friend's just phoned. He wants me to go. And, um. So I am going to unbox her, but not exactly at the moment. But there she is. Oh, let me turn this down. Radio's too loud. Is she lovely? Um, let's compare her to Ling here. Oh, 
Chinese New Year, is it the same height? I think they're about the same height. I don't know, I'll, I'll have to wait until this one's out so I can properly put them side by side. I'm not sure if this one's dress velcro's in the back. I hope it does. I hope you can actually... Oh no, it might have a little um, press stud. It might have a press stud fastening. Isn't she pretty? She's lovely. Look at the detail. I'm sorry, she's blanking it out. Let me try and do it in natural daylight. You know I like to show you things in natural daylight as well. If it's, um, I, don't, I don't know if... I don't even know if that was recording anything. Uh, it says it is, but um, you never know with this. You think you're recording... Uh, sometimes you think you're recording something and then you find you're not. And then when you, you go to stop something, that's when it starts recording and you haven't recorded anything. So um, yeah, we have to see. Oh... Let's get myself ready to go out. Right, I've got more hard drives yet, more hard drives because, um, yeah, you know, if you watch, you know the problems I've been having. I've got my pink Sonics one, the bright fluorescent pink one, has gone. This one is gone raw, and I've got loads and loads and loads of video files and MP3s in different folders, and I'm hoping I can retrieve them. I've also got an SD card that's got pictures on that um, some of the videos and pictures the camera can see, but the computer can't, so I can't upload them. I've got some Torchwood audios, uh, uh, different ones. My favourite one is still Sorrenti Plaza, the Jack and Yanto, that's really good. But so I've got these to listen to as well, but I've got to try and get so much sorted out with this these tech problems I'm having so yeah let me see what this one looks like hang on I see they don't look nice now they're black on one side and I don't even know if you can get these out to put in a different housing like you can with these with these old ones they, they lift you can lift them out to put in different housing it's like because I've had others that I've been able to do that because I couldn't access anything on them because the bridging part was not working properly anymore but they hadn't gone raw, so I could still, you know, I put them into a different housing of a different, a different hard drive housing, and they work fine. But oh, I'll do that in a minute. But um, I don't think this one. No, I can't find a way to get this one out. There's no grooves or anything. Normally they've got a groove when you can take them out. So that's a. Now this one's a different make, I haven't used this make before. Oh, well this one looks a nice colour. This looks like the colour that the, more like the colour that the original one is. Oh, oh that's fallen over. That looks more like the colour the original one is. Oh, does that make a nice relaxing sound? I keep saying I'm going to do an ASMR video. Let me know if anyone wants to here a tapping video. I like tapping and I'll do one if anyone's into AMSR. And I'll make sure there's no radio on in the background. Oh that's quite good. I wish I'd recorded a longer video of some Waitrose chocolate that I had for Christmas that was in shape of carrots and a milk carton because it made a most satisfying sound when they were knocked together and um, I haven't heard anything else that sounds quite like that. Oh. <laughs> I haven't time to stop for this and if anyone wonders what I'm doing. I think most people know what ASMR is nowadays. Oh, Jade has arrived today. She was a translucent, which are quite nice. Oh, she's got nice long hair. Typical Barbie, of course, but... Let's get her unboxed. Because I know people like to compare these things, there's her face. Are they not lovely? They are nice, these daffodils. They're very pretty.
been doing a little video of some of the dolls and the latest dolls in the garden video. So they're their winter, co winter coats and Shin and Lin in their Chinese New Year outfits. I've tried this Kit Kat before, I've got it from the co op. Zebra or Zebra. Golden Eggs. Thornton's Jockey and from Pounderland and other things from Poundland, so we'll look at all those later. We'll look at them all later. This is nice. Solar light from Poundland. Oh, I wish they sold the Kit Kats like they do in Japan now. They're lovely strawberry Kit Kats and the white chocolate. They're delicious. It's so expensive getting them shipped over, so I have to go without. But these are quite nice. That looks rather nice. But we have a troublesome neighbour, don't we? You're only going to get one leaf that goes over the top of that fence and it gets cut back. And then they reach over and cut things back on this side. In an age where you have to care about the environment, and yet all people want to do is destroy any part of it that... anything that grows they don't like. It's very strange. But that looks nice. Even better when it's lit up. And there we go, and it just lit, as I said about, as I mentioned it, it just lit itself up as I was looking at it. So that was good. That's nice. Yay. Like a diamond. My favourite Thorntons is chocolates, but they only put actual two of my real favourites in there. There's four batons, but these are my favourites, the vanilla, strawberry and vanilla cream, and they only put two of those, and only two of these, and these are my second favourites. But all the others seem to have more than two of everything. Whoops. Oh, great. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm having one of these. Noisy neighbours have gone in now from the other side, not this side, and we have them all around us. But this side they complain about anything growing, and on the other side they complain about anything growing, and on the other side of that they're extra noisy, and the ones on the other side are noisy as well. So even here, everyone's um, it's like British society only favours noisy people. If you're more quiet, sensitive person, you don't seem to have a say in anything. Can I take your order? Raquela's wearing a maid's outfit at the moment. Oh, and look, the lights lit up out there. There he is. Lit up. How long for? I don't know. Looks nice out there. Oh, the neighbours chopping wood, ready to make more smoke pollution from their wood burners. Oh, God. We have a different packaging than what was on the one I had yesterday. I had one yesterday with different packaging, so this must be the newest packaging. I'm using this one in my pillow slip washing tonight in the vinyl rinse. Does it match? Not really, but... Well, at least there's three of those, my second favourite. That one was turned over, but there's only two of my total fav absolute favourite. Now, which one am I going to have with my latte? Let's have a look. Um, I'm trying to recreate what I used to get at Thornton's. I'll find it. And another Thornton's chocolate with Thornton's insignia on top. <laughs> so, 
I can imagine I'm in Thornton's Latte, having a Thornton's Latte, Thornton's Chocolate. Actually, these are my second favourites, these. And would you believe we only have two of those as well? See, the other one was there. So there's only two of these and two of them. I've got these. I'll oh, drive into the water down there, but oh, I just hope it's all right. I'm inside the water, the is in the smell of water. Oh. These are swatches of the nail polishes I got from Poundland today. That's the best one, the one called Latte. That's Latte, Lime Zest and Pink Soda. I have had those before. There we are, a different, this is the old pot. And uh, this is the new pot, the new livery, as it were. My camellia in bloom. Where are they? Oh, they just fall them off now. That's what happens, you see, they do fall off. Oh, I've probably started at last. Yes, I got a box of these from the co-op yesterday. You know, I love my Thorntons. And I run through other things I got in the co-op and in Poundland. I don't know, we need the light on, I can see that. Hang on. Right. Is that a bit better? I think it's a little bit better. So yes, I got the Thorntons. See, that showed up without the light on when I tried this first because it's light in colour, I suppose. I'm going to sh that's all that's left. They're my favourites. And those. And this one. No, this one. It's got a cream centre. Um, this one. That one. Those two are my favourites. And that, those those three, they're my favourites. And they're the ones they always have least of for some reason. Oh, no. no, no, sorry, I think No, I think I've got this in the co op for a pound. Manu Masa, white cheddar and jalapeno, jalapeno, tortillas with spirit. From mm -hmm. Poundland. So I light. Now, I'm not so keen on these sort because instead of having a continuous light, they, they've got like um, a string of lights that go in, which doesn't look quite so good. And it's alright. I wanted to get one of those nice glass ones with the sort of slightly crazed green glass, but they didn't have any of those anymore. Here's one like I hung up in my friend's garden I did show you yesterday. See, it's got like a string that feeds in. So I'm going to hang this one outside because the one I had outside my palm, um, it um, doesn't light up anymore. But the one that was I had hung up outside my friend's house and his horrible neighbour broke it. We are, both have problems with horrible neighbours, I'm afraid. I got some... Um, Discs from Poundland, DVDs for back, you know, back up and stuff. These are pound for two, 50 pence each, face cleansers, sensitive skin. Poundland, what, cute, cute. Batteries, load of batteries. 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 In the co-op, six of my Lint, Lindor, Mints. You know, I like those. And 
I did show that the swatch, I, I did the swatches of my friends last night of these nail polishes. I've had these before from Poundland. This one though, I'm surprised, you know, this is called, this one is called, um, I think it's called Pink Soda. Pink Soda. And I don't know why it's called Pink Soda, because I can't see any pink on the, any pink in here. Doesn't look a bit pink. It's sort of a, sort of a peachy shade. It's certainly not pink. Let me get that off. I don't want to wear nail polish at the moment. Oh, I can't find anything. Use a Nido wrapper. <laughs> Needs must. So yeah, that one's called Pink Soda. But it's nothing like pink. There it is. This one's called uh, Latte. And this one's a, a sort of nice shade. Covers in one coat, that one. Utilise the Umaibo wrapper again. And this one is called Lime Zest. That's nice. Lime green or chartreuse, chartreuse would you call that? It's a sort of a... Wouldn't be a colour that everyone would like, but I quite like that. I prefer a bright lime, a cleaner sort of, this looks more of a muddy colour, but it's okay. So that's my little haul that I got yesterday. Oh, hang on, what's happening? Go away. Right, I'm doing a bath time. And I'm using an Ortigia. And I can't see what that one is. It's not Zagara and it's not the Sandalo and it's uh, I can't see it's worn off. So I, these are my favourite ones that aren't the actual onsen bath salts. These are lovely and they foam, give you a nice foam. And more importantly, they do not irritate sensitive skin. So yeah. Oh, we have some foam.